Hey everyone, this is Dan Bennett with DNA Design Company. I'm a freelance graphic designer and animator. Recently, while inside After Effects, I was using the Video Copilot plugin, Element 3D. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Element 3D, and that's probably why you're checking out this video. But for those of you who aren't, it is an excellent, inexpensive plugin that gives you a ton of control. Uh, here's my logo. And if we go into the scene setup, you can see that I uh, have my logo in here and I've put some shaders and beveling, but it's kind of tough for me to get in and see where I want because I can zoom and I can rotate, but I cannot pan. Now let me throw in here, I'm a Mac user and I use a magic mouse and we'll get into that a little bit later. So as anyone would, I took my frustrations to the internet and did a little bit of research. And the first thing I found is that a lot of the users in um, different tutorials and things I was watching use a standard mouse with a scroller wheel. Now, a scroller wheel you can depress as a third button, and that'll actually give you the pan option within the scene setup. A lot of different 3D programs actually have this option. So I solved the problem in a way, but I kind of created a brand new one. And that is that I use a magic mouse. And as you can see in my preferences here, I have a selection for secondary click or right click as I have it set up. And I can scroll in the center of my mouse, but there is no center click. Back to the internet I went and I found a cool video on a channel called Always On Board. Definitely recommend these guys tons of great tutorials and news and different things. And one of the tutorials dealt with third-party plugins to be able to gain more control over your Magic Mouse. The company he recommended was Magic Press, and there's a link below. You can click and check them out. As you can see, it's a, a third-party application that gives you a ton of control over your Magic Mouse. It's really easy. Just go to the download, click that, go to your downloads folder, double-click on Magic Press, OK that and it throws it right into your toolbar. Very easy, very simple, and best of all, very free. Great, great program. So if you go to your Magic Preps icon and hit Preferences, it'll bring up a dialog box with so many different controls over your Magic Mouse. There's taps and gestures and swipes and clicks, all kinds of stuff. But the one I need is actually right here at the top, which is a one finger middle axis right there at the top. So go ahead and select that and then close out. Um, we'll go back to my scene setup for my logo here. And as you can see, I can rotate, I can zoom in and out. And now if I move my finger over a little bit and click on the center and hold, I can pan. I was very excited when I figured this out. And I just wanted to make a tutorial and share with everyone who might be dealing with the same problem because when you're adding shaders and beveling and all that, you need to see almost every side of your, your logo. And I wasn't able to do that before, and now I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and share my channel. And again, this is Dan with DNA Design Company. Thanks for watching.